Imagine a world so immense that it could swallow every other planet in our solar system and still have room to spare. A world wrapped in endless storms, where lightning bolts stretch across thousands of kilometers and winds scream faster than any hurricane on Earth. That world is Jupiter the gas giant, the king of planets, and perhaps the most mysterious object in our cosmic neighborhood. For centuries, Jupiter has fascinated humanity. From Galileo's first telescope to NASA's high-tech spacecraft, every generation has tried to uncover what lies beneath those swirling clouds. But the deeper we look, the stranger Jupiter becomes. Because what we've found hiding inside this monstrous planet defies everything we thought we knew about how worlds are made. You see, Jupiter isn't just a big ball of gas. Beneath its colorful atmosphere lies something no one expected. A vast, ghostly, chaotic heart that scientists are still struggling to explain. A heart that may rewrite our understanding of how planets form, not just here, but across the galaxy. But before we get to that discovery, we need to understand what Jupiter really is. For decades, scientists imagined Jupiter as a planet with a solid, rocky core buried deep inside. According to this classic model, the planet began as a lump of heavy elements, metals, and rock that slowly gathered hydrogen and helium around it, growing into the behemoth we see today. It was a simple, elegant idea, and it fit the logic of planetary formation. But then, something changed. As technology advanced, our telescopes and probes began sending back data that didn't match this old story. Something was off. Gravitational measurements, magnetic field readings, and computer models all started whispering the same unsettling truth. Jupiter's interior wasn't behaving like it should. The numbers didn't add up. Some scientists began to wonder, what if Jupiter didn't have a solid core at all? What if, instead, it was something far more bizarre, a sprawling, fuzzy region where rock, metal, and hydrogen were mixed together in a strange, fluid chaos. That's when NASA decided to find out for sure. In 2011, the Juno mission launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida, a solar-powered spacecraft on a five-year journey to the largest planet in the solar system. Its mission, to peel back Jupiter's secrets and reveal what truly lies beneath the clouds. As Juno approached the gas giant in 2016, it braced for one of the most dangerous environments ever encountered. Jupiter's magnetic field is so powerful it could erase spacecraft electronics in seconds. Its radiation belts are death zones for anything unprotected. Yet Juno pressed on, shielded by a titanium vault and guided by a precision orbit that would bring it closer to Jupiter than any probe before. Every 53 days, Juno swooped down from millions of kilometers away, diving just a few thousand kilometers above the planet's clouds, close enough to feel the tug of its gravity. And as it did, something extraordinary happened. The spacecraft began sending back signals, precise measurements of how Jupiter's gravity pulled on it during each pass. Those tiny changes, no more than a few microns per second, allowed scientists to map the planet's interior like never before. It was as if Juno were performing a kind of planetary ultrasound, peering through layers of gas to uncover the beating heart inside. But what it found stunned everyone. Juno's data revealed that Jupiter's gravity field was uneven, distorted in a way that couldn't be explained by a solid core. The models didn't fit. Instead of a compact, well-defined heart, Jupiter seemed to have something messy and sprawling, a huge, partially dissolved region, extending halfway out from the center. This was the fuzzy core, and imagine a heart so immense it spans tens of thousands of kilometers, made not of rock or metal, but of a strange soup, a mixture of hydrogen, helium, and heavier elements all stirred together in a slow, convective churn. It's neither solid nor liquid, but something in between, a state of matter we can barely imagine existing under pressures and temperatures beyond comprehension. At Jupiter's center, the pressure is so intense that hydrogen, the lightest element in the universe, is squeezed into a metallic form. It behaves like molten metal, conducting electricity and generating the planet's immense magnetic field. And within this metallic ocean, 
The supposed core isn't a neat ball at all, but a swirling fog of elements, slowly dissolving into the hydrogen sea. Juno's discovery shattered the old model of Jupiter's interior. The planet we thought we knew, with its tidy layers and solid center, was gone. In its place stood something wild, dynamic, and deeply mysterious. But this revelation raised a question far more profound than anyone expected. If Jupiter's core is fuzzy, how did it get that way? Some scientists believe it was born that way. A chaotic accumulation of gas and debris that never quite settled into order. Others suspect something more dramatic happened. Perhaps billions of years ago, in the early days of the solar system, a massive collision took place. A young, fiery Jupiter might have been struck by another forming planet, a colossal impact so violent it shattered its original core and mixed its materials into the surrounding gas. That single event could have changed Jupiter forever, creating the fuzzy heart we see today. But this theory leads to even bigger questions about how planets like Jupiter influence the birth of other worlds, and about how rare or common our own solar system really is. And those answers, lie not just in Jupiter, but in the thousands of giant exoplanets orbiting distant stars. When Juno revealed that Jupiter's heart was not solid but fuzzy, a strange, dissolved blend of elements, it didn't just rewrite our understanding of one planet. It shook the very foundation of how we think planets are born. Because Jupiter, as strange as it is, is also a time capsule, a relic from the dawn of the solar system. Over four and a half billion years ago, before Earth had even formed, the young sun was surrounded by a swirling disk of gas and dust. In that chaotic nursery, small rocky bodies collided and merged, growing larger with every impact. Eventually, one of them reached a tipping point massive enough to pull in the light gases hydrogen and helium from the solar nebula. That object became Jupiter, the firstborn planet, the architect of our cosmic neighborhood, but here's where it gets strange. If Jupiter's core really is fuzzy, then the way it formed must have been far more chaotic than our models predict. The data suggests that, early on, Jupiter might have experienced a catastrophic collision, one that mixed its interior like a stirred cauldron and blurred the boundary between rock and gas forever. In other words, Jupiter didn't quietly grow into perfection. It was violently reborn. To understand what that means, Scientists have turned their gaze outward far beyond our solar system to the thousands of exoplanets discovered in recent years. Many of them are hot Jupiters, gas giants orbiting perilously close to their stars, with years shorter than a single Earth week. Others are super Jupiters, worlds several times our Jupiter's mass, yet with similar compositions. And here's the fascinating part. When astronomers model their interiors, Many of these distant giants also appear to have fuzzy or diluted cores. It's as if Jupiter isn't unique, but rather part of a broader cosmic pattern. Perhaps collisions and chaos aren't exceptions in planet formation, maybe they're the rule. Maybe every giant planet, in its youth, endures a time of violence and reshaping, when molten worlds crash together and gravity sculpts their fates. If that's true, then Jupiter's strange heart isn't an anomaly. It's a window into the universal process that builds and sometimes destroys worlds. But the implications reach even further. Because Jupiter didn't just shape itself, it shaped us. Without Jupiter's immense gravity, the early solar system might have been a very different place. It acted as a cosmic shield, deflecting countless comets and asteroids that might have obliterated Earth before life could begin. Its orbit stabilized the system keeping the delicate balance that allowed smaller planets to thrive. Yet, at the same time, Jupiter was also a destroyer. Its gravitational might scattered debris throughout the solar system, preventing another planet from forming between it and Mars, leaving behind only the shattered remnants we now call the asteroid belt. So, the same planet that may have saved Earth also stopped another world from ever existing. And deep within that paradox creation and destruction, Order and chaos lies the fuzzy core that still holds its ancient secrets. Juno's mission has now circled Jupiter dozens of times, braving its radiation belts and delivering streams of data that scientists are still deciphering. It's shown us shimmering auroras at the poles, colossal storms stretching thousands of kilometers, 
and magnetic fields that twist and pulse like living things. But perhaps its greatest gift is the glimpse it gave us beneath the clouds, the revelation that Jupiter is not a planet of clean layers and clear boundaries, but a world of blurred edges, shifting materials, and unending motion. A world where the idea of a core might not even make sense. This discovery has changed the way we think about planets altogether. No longer are they static spheres built from the inside out. They are living, evolving entities shaped by chaos, sculpted by collisions, and transformed by time. And if Jupiter, the largest and oldest of them all, still hides mysteries after billions of years, then what does that say about the rest of the universe? Every new world we find, every exoplanet orbiting a distant sun, could be hiding its own version of this story. A fuzzy core, a shattered heart, a hidden history of creation through destruction. The universe doesn't build with order. It builds with fire, with impact, with chaos. And somehow, from that chaos, comes beauty storms that last centuries, magnetic fields that dance with light, and worlds that defy explanation. So the next time you look at Jupiter, remember, you're not just seeing a planet, you're seeing a survivor, a witness to cosmic violence, a relic of the solar system's wild youth. And deep beneath its clouds, beneath layers of hydrogen and metallic rain, lies a mystery that may never be fully solved. The ghostly, swirling heart of a giant where the line between creation and destruction disappears into the fog. Juno's lonely voyage around Jupiter isn't just a mission, it's a conversation between humanity and the unknown. With every orbit, the spacecraft sends back data wrapped in whispers of radiation and magnetic fury, as if the planet itself is reluctant to give up its secrets. Each transmission peels away another layer of mystery, yet somehow, the truth keeps slipping further out of reach. Because Jupiter doesn't reveal itself, it performs. Its storms are not just weather systems. They're acts of cosmic theater, raging across a canvas the size of worlds. Its magnetic field hums like a pulse that once fueled the birth of everything we know. And deep inside, that blurred, fuzzy core still churns with the heat of creation, a swirling chaos of rock, metal, and hydrogen that refuses to settle, as if the planet is still unfinished, still being born after billions of years. Juno has shown us that planets aren't built with precision. They're forged in accidents, collisions, and chaos. They are survivors of a violent past that the universe has long since forgotten. And Jupiter, the largest of them all, stands as both a monument and a mystery, a reminder that even giants are shaped by catastrophe. Without Jupiter, we might never have existed. Its gravity pulled the early solar system into order, shielding Earth from the endless barrage of comets that could have wiped us away before life began. But that same gravity also tore apart worlds before they could form, scattering debris across the void. Jupiter is both protector and destroyer, proof that creation in this universe never comes without sacrifice. When we look at Jupiter, we are staring into a mirror of cosmic truth, beauty born from violence, order born from chaos, and survival born from destruction. Its fuzzy core is not a flaw, it's a symbol of everything the universe truly is. Imperfect, mysterious, alive. And though Juno's mission will one day end, the story it began will not. Because in every storm, in every ripple of magnetic energy, in every faint whisper from the edge of the solar system, Jupiter continues to speak. It tells us that the universe doesn't owe us answers, only wonder. So as you watch that distant, swirling giant glow in the night sky, remember this. We're not just observing a planet, we're witnessing the heartbeat of creation itself, eternal, chaotic, and impossibly beautiful.